Jonna is um, hired by Beverly Weston, the patriarch, and Jonna is a caretaker. She gets hired at the beginning of the play to sort of be a housekeeper, essentially, to look after Violet. Jonna, when, as much as I see her, she's the savior of the household. She gets the job to be the caretaker there at the Weston house, having no idea what's going to transpire over the next few weeks, but at the same time being able to handle everything that happens with non-judgmentalism and practicality and compassion. Jana is such a mystery, uh, but she's the best mystery that ever happened to the Weston family. She is a quiet, lovely person who is mysterious in that she's not given a lot to say, but given an enormous amount to do. Jana is someone that I can't quite figure out because she's an entity to Karen that um, that Karen can never be. Peaceful, um, uh, calm, a part of the world, a part of nature and life, and exotic and unique. John is sort of the grounded spiritual person in the play. She just listens and doesn't have to say anything and you feel like you've made a friend with her. Jonna is Cheyenne. Uh, she's Native American. As with the story of our country, it started with Native Americans and it will probably end with Native Americans long after we're gone. Jonna starts the play and she ends the play. I think she, she is sort of like the, in, in terms of the past, like virginal America. and like the future, care and hope. John is almost a, a symbol in the play, but as such, she's also this wonderful, rich, warm, live, full character, but she is a Native American. She's the normal person who lived in Oklahoma a long time ago before there was any of this other bullshit that we call civilization, society. I believe she's truly humble, and I think that's a trait that we don't see a lot um, in our country or the world these days, but I believe she's a truly humble person, non-judgmental and compassionate. She's kind of the witness of everything that unfolds. Um, and although she probably has her complications, you don't learn as much about her as you do about the rest of the characters on stage. So I think the audience really connects with Jonna in the sense of someone who's standing squarely rooted on the ground and watching this all unfold, trying to make sense of it. She is the keeper of many secrets and uh, I think she's pretty much the backbone of the play. I think she's a symbol of what, what, what simple existence of a human being in this environment is, was, and could be. There's not been one performance of August Osage County that I haven't been in and I'm so thankful for that and we have never given the same performance twice and I believe that's because we embrace the audience as that that last family member that comes to the Weston house and they're going to experience all of this with us that night or that matinee and they're going to get an entire story that's just for them just from us and from Tracy's heart. Mm -hmm.